two years ago I came up with the idea for a walk around Northampton and a walk around rugby, the latter of which I decided to do almost immediately. At the time it was my longest walk and it allowed me to see parts of the abandoned Great Central Railway and a walk along the Oxford Canal. Today though, I decided to finally give Northampton its time to shine and there will be bits of old railway and canal walking to do today as well. I'm at Euston, I'm on the train, I'm ready. So I love this. Here at Northampton, there's a display board showing every single station someone has bought a ticket from to get to Northampton. They have one for all of the tube stations as well. I was boring though and just bought my ticket from London Terminal, so I'm not exactly contributing, but my local stations had already been done anyways. I think other stations should do this as well. So welcome to Northampton. I was going to say it's always a lot of fun getting to explore a new city for the first time, except Northampton isn't a city, is it? It's just a town. It has, though, in its lifetime had three stations. The one and only one which remains today was originally known as Northampton Castle and does sit on the site of an old Norman castle. There's only a little bit left of that which you can see today and we will do that at the very end of the walk. The other two stations was Northampton Bridge Street which ran services in towards Peterborough and Northampton St John's Street which was a terminus station on a line up from Bedford uh, which was more in the town centre. There's not really anything left to see of them two stations today unfortunately but I am looking forward to our walk of Northampton three years in the making I'm really excited so the beginning of my walk today is taking me along the river Neen I'm familiar with this river because it does also run up towards Peterborough which I've previously done an explore of River and canal walks, of which we're doing both today, are some of my favourites to do. Although they can be quite samey and they're quite linear, they are really, really pretty and very calming. What's brilliant about it is that if you're looking at a place to do a walk around and you think there might not be a whole lot to it, there might not be that many places to include in a walk, as long as you have a river or a canal that passes through the town or the city centre, then you're pretty much sorted because then you've got miles of potential walking that you could do along it. And pretty much half of today's walk is going to be along the River Neen and a nearby canal. Already along the river, we've got a little bit of abandoned railway action. An old bridge that would have connected the main line, which still exists today at Northampton Station, to the Bridge Street Station. You can tell it's abandoned because of the fence up there blocking any access to it. There's a little path heading up here though. I wonder if I can uh, catch a better glimpse on top of the bridge. Aha, yes. There's actually a bit of old rail there. And it's linking right up to the bridge. I'm not going to be able to uh, sneak on top of it though, unfortunately. It's completely fenced off, so I'm just going to head straight back down to the River Neen. A little further along the river, you have the Still Live Railway Bridge, the main line out of Northampton. Kind of a mini viaduct at this point, definitely much bigger than the little Bridge Street branch bridge. <laughs> I've crossed over the River Neen quickly because there's a branch of it heading towards the right but I'm about to immediately cross back over to be on the right side of it at that chimney in the distance by the way I've heard it's kind of like a, a local landmark of Northampton. I mean, it definitely stands out on the landscape, doesn't it? I saw it coming in on the train. Forget the River Neen. I've come across a beautiful open reservoir here instead.
site of the Duston Mill, which gives the reservoir its name. Well, that was a beautiful first couple of miles of walking along the River Neen. We are going to be leaving it, for now at least. I am also passing over the canal, which we'll also come back to later. For now though, I'm going to be taking this lovely path through to Hunsbury Hill. Before I even got on this path, I saw something interesting. I very much suspect that this is another old railway bridge. I'm actually on top of this time. There's no old rails down there, but yeah, I think this is definitely an old railway. You know, I'm not sure if I've been on a cycle route with this high of a number before. 539. So I've made it to Hunsbury Hill now, and already it looks really nice. I've discovered that this is actually the site of an old Iron Age hill fort. It's quite clearly defined where the border of this old fort used to be. Well, I had to enter into the centre of it. What I love about places like this is this was people's entire livelihoods and now it's just been reclaimed by nature and us generations later get to just enjoy walking through it. I found an information board which is brilliant that talks all about the old Iron Age hill fort known as Dane's Camp. If you want to stop and read all of it you can pause the video. I love the artist's impression of what it once looked like. As well as the old Iron Age hill fort, there is also in Hunsbury Hill what I thought to be a miniature railway. But no, it looks proper life-sized. I've been in parks before with miniature railways, most of the time you're not even operating. So <laughs> I'm unbelievably surprised that here it's essentially a heritage railway almost. The Northampton Ironstone Railway. Of course it would be called that. Aha, I've discovered another information board upon leaving the park. This time all about the railway. Well, Hunsbury Hill Country Park, you were a treat, an absolute delight. Well, after the excitement and discoveries of Hunsbury Hill, I now find myself on the ancient Drover's Road. I'm fairly certain I've heard of this before. So the ancient Drover's Road has brought me out onto the Grand Union Canal my favorite canal yes i've said it i've done some amazing walks along this canal before it runs from london all the way up into the midlands at birmingham uh, i've done pretty much all of the london stretch uh, i've done walks along it from watford to berkhamstead and then cheddington and then fenny stratford there's a section of it i haven't done yet from fenny stratford to wolverton but past that point it becomes quite tricky to do because there's a very large gap where there's no stations all the way up to northampton in fact to do that section therefore would be very tricky because of the distance i could break it up by maybe getting a bus in between but that would just complicate matters especially considering that we're also on a branch of the canal we're on an arm uh, i've done 
walks along other branches of the Grand Union before Aylesbury, uh, Wendover, which is kind of half disused at the moment, which is quite interesting, and half of the Paddington Arm. Uh, <laughs> there's a section of it in London that I haven't done. Oh, there's the Slough Arm as well. There's a lot of branches, and this one is the Northampton Arm. So rather than do Wolverton all the way to Northampton, I decided to just cover part of the Northampton Arm on a solely dedicated Northampton walk. And to be fair, we do actually have quite a nice long distance along it to head all the way back in towards Northampton. I've always liked passing underneath a busy road whilst by a river or a canal. I don't know what it is, but as long as there's a watercourse by me, I don't mind passing underneath places like this. There's what looks to be an old lock here on the canal. The gates are gone. The narrow strip remains. I'm by mile post three here. Presumably, that means it's three miles back to Blissworth Junction. I think this is a four and a half mile stretch, so I've got a mile and a half to get back to Northampton, yep. Behind me here is where earlier I said I would be back by the canal later on. I've looped all the way around Huntsbury Hill, about three and a half miles, and I'm glad I did so because that place was a lot of fun to explore. An old Iron Age hill fort and what I thought was a miniature railway but wasn't. And by doing so, I got to walk more of the canal as well than if I had turned left onto it immediately. This is exactly what I love about canal walks. How quiet it is, how you get to be out in nature and you get this water course running by you all the way. It brings you away from some of the built up urban areas. It's just really, really nice. You can switch off almost because it's such a linear path. You're not going to get lost just stay on the towpath the entire time and you can go for miles and miles it's brilliant one of my favorite sections favorite walks of all time actually would be the one along the grand union from berkhamstead to cheddington specifically the bit from tring to cheddington uh, you go past reservoirs you're kind of down in a valley uh, you get great views over into Ivinghoe Beacon, which is part of the Chilton Hills. It was just an absolutely incredible walk. In the evening as well, no one was around, sun was setting, it was just beautiful. Because this canal is so accessible to me in London, and it does go by so many stations on such a long route with so many different branches, it's no wonder this is my favourite canal. and. I always love when I get the opportunity to walk a new section of it that I haven't before and I am really enjoying my walk along the Northampton Arm. I've got about a mile left to get back to the town centre. You can tell we're making it back towards Northampton now because we've just passed underneath the mainline railway. And up ahead, the abandoned railway bridge, which would have led to Northampton Bridge Street Station. They're not as impressive as the ones over the River Neen, are they? The Carlsberg Brewery over there. I was surprised to come across that at the beginning of our walk. Ha! Huh, there's a Carlsberg Brewery here. That's unexpected. It's a big sight. Looks like our walk along the Grand Union Canal is coming to an end. This bench here kind of showcasing the fact that we are at the end of the four and three quarter miles of the Northampton Arm. Welcome to the River Neen. This is where the Grand Union Canal meets up with the river. In fact, this arm was built specifically to connect with the river here at Northampton. And this is where Northampton Bridge Street Station used to be. 
nothing left to really see of it. It's still owned by Network Rail, but it's just been turned into a depot now. Just because the Grand Union Canal has come to an end doesn't mean that I now can't walk part of the River Neen, like I was hinting at earlier. So I'm coming up to Beckett's Park, which looks like it's going to be a nice place to sit down and have a little break. And I was going to say that somewhere around here is where the St John Street railway branch would have crossed over the river. I didn't think there was anything left to see of it. And I then came across these old bridge stumps here. So I take that back. Here's a little history lesson no one asked for. So Bridge Street Station opened in 1845 as Northampton, was renamed in 1876, and was closed in 1964. St John Street Station also opened as Northampton in 1872, was renamed in 1924, and closed in 1939. Northampton Castle Station opened in 1859, was renamed to just Northampton in 1966 and closed in... Oh wait, it hasn't closed. Got all that? Good. Now you can completely forget it. So I'm not quite going to head out as far east as I have west today out of Northampton. Because we did a loop around to serve Hunsbury Hill, if I then went further out east and looped around back to Northampton, it would be way too long of a walk. I'm glad that I went to Hunsbury Hill though, but whatever is further out east, I'm going to have to miss it out because we served the west side of Northampton instead. We are going to go a little bit along the River Neen though because it's just nice to do. I like that Northampton has a lot of riverside paths. I thought when looking at the map that I was coming up to some sort of wetland area, but no, it's actually a white water centre. Unfortunately, we're going to be coming off of the River Neen in a moment. I've genuinely been really enjoying this section of the walk. It's been very quiet, very peaceful. It's a great way to kind of clear your mind walking alongside a river. I stood on the banks for five minutes, just not thinking about anything, just looking out across the water. It was really nice. When you're out doing walks, sometimes your mind starts to wander and think about other walks that you've done. So for example, just here walking along the River Neen, I was thinking about my Chelmsford walk, which I had done three years ago, which was a similar thing. I'd gone along the river, and then I had to come off it and find some way back towards the station. I was also thinking of a walk I did last year out of Colchester on the River Colne. That is how it starts to open up a little bit wider. Like I've gone from, you know, a narrow canal to a quite wide river like the Neen is here. Wow, that's an incredible final view of the River Neen just before we take this bridge to go and do some road walking. It's a shame to see it go. I'm sure I'll be back alongside it one day. I'll be back in Peterborough. To get back towards Northampton, I decided to walk all the way up the road to Abington Park, which is quite large and is split into two by the road. This is the right side that I'm just skirting along the edge of. And this is the left side, which has a really nice church in it. It also houses a museum. I like the old like castle doors and uh, branches growing over the wall. There's an aviary here as well. Fortunately it's closed, otherwise that would have been cool to have walked through. Bandstand as well, that's a classic. And also the most number of seats for a park cafe I have ever seen. I didn't realise that I'd be passing Northamptonshire's County Cricket Club. I've got another stint of road walking now to my next large park. So I've now made it into the race course, which is no longer a race course.
It was a race course though up until 1904 and when I visit a place which has a race course I like to try and visit it if I can because my adventures in a way kind of started because of a first visit to a race course. I have my favourite one. I've disclosed my favourite canal. I'm not disclosing my favourite race course, at least not today. But when I found out Northampton has had a race course, I knew I kind of had to go and have a look at it. But this is going to lead me back through to Northampton's town centre now. Just like my last walk around Basildon, I've left a town centre right up until the last moments of the walk. So <laughs> let's go do that now. I will say this is very nice to walk across there. If this was still an active race course and it had like the classic white gates around it, eh, maybe it would be on the list somewhere. Ooh, well considering I'm about to enter Northampton's town centre, this isn't a very good sign. An ex-servicemen's club. It's definitely seen better days. This is the Market Square area here, which is currently undergoing some work. I did know that it was temporarily closed. It's not helping at the moment, adding to the atmosphere of the town. I'm going to be completely honest. I thought this with the roads that were linking the parks, but the roads in the town centre is a big letdown in Northampton. At least this is a nice building. And that is quite quiet in the town centre because it's a Sunday evening. So it's a shame that the town centre is such a letdown for Northampton, considering we've had such a nice day out by the River Neen and the Grand Union Canal. Those are the nice parts of Northampton. It's a shame it all kind of crumbled away right at the last second, like the town centre itself. I am now, however, though, on the remains of Northampton Castle. I said at the beginning, the station was originally named Northampton Castle. That is essentially the site of where it once was. The only thing that remains is this little mound on the edge, which offers a great view down onto the station and the chimney in the distance. I genuinely think, by the way, that is actually my train. <laughs> Trains at Northampton, a lot of them, for some reason, hang about for just 15, 20 minutes. Sometimes they kind of couple, decouple. That could genuinely be my train. I found an entrance into the old castle, literally right by the railway station. It's strange how the station's clearly been done up recently and is really nice, but the town centre just hasn't. Despite everything though, this is a fantastic place to end the war, especially as the sun is setting in the background. I've had a fun day. It's always fun getting to explore a completely new place and I am glad I came out to Northampton, even though the town centre is a letdown. I got to go down and get the train now from the station, from where the castle once stood back to London so thank you very much for watching I'm glad that you came along with me on that walk and if you ever fancy doing that again any walk in the future feel free to subscribe to the channel there'll be more videos coming soon I just walked by this rabbit I wasn't even startled. Wow, it's the closest I've ever come to one.